Hello everybody, this is Trey. I wanted to take a moment to show you how I use Stuck on Earth to do planning for my own trips and how I find good photo spots. In fact, I'll show you how I'm using it here in Thailand to find an incredible place. Let me just start with an exact example here. Let me jump over to my iPhoto. So I never would have found this place if it wasn't for Stuck on Earth. Uh, let me just give you a few examples of what this place looks like. You know, I've been to a lot of temples all around the world and this place beyond a doubt is the most incredible place I've ever seen. So this is what it looks like from the outside. And as you approach the inside, it looks like this, with these incredible carved wood things. They're still carving this. Even, you know, as, as we speak, they're building it from the inside out. It's just incredible. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I'll show you another outside shot here. It looks like this. I mean, just remarkable. So I went there, just had a ball uh, taking photos of this place. All right. So how did I find this? Uh, let me show you. I'm going to kind of take you through a little stuck on earth experience here uh, in a very practical way. And I'll show you some tricks that you might not know if you've been using it for a while. All right. So let's go ahead and just kind of restart the experience. Okay. Let me go up here to preferences. By the way, this is the Mac version that I'm showing you. Uh, it runs on Android, on iPhone, all iOS devices. Um, it's everywhere, everywhere. So I'm going to click restart app here. All right. Well, hello there. I see you're stuck on Earth here with me. What's your name? Well, hi, Karen. It's been a long time since I heard from you. I'm Trey. Hello, Trey. Hi. What up, dog? What? That's a little Easter egg just for me. So anyway, the next step is you kind of pick your personality type, okay? And the whole app changes based on your personality type. Plus, Karen will say different stuff to you every time you come in based on your what you choose here. So I'll say I'm a photographer. Oh, a fellow photographer. I am, Karen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We notice the little things in Ah, it. don't yes. we, Karen? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it make okay. you feel sorry for those that blindly mm. shamble life? <laughs> not All right, Karen. It is mine to explore. To whatever area okay, like let's zoom into... Okay, Karen. To okay. You are now looking at the feature photos filter. Yes, we are. Which has millions of amazing pins as you zoom in. All right, let's go. On any photo uh, to see it uh, full screen. I cannot get a word in edgewise with this woman. I tell you what, everyone loves Karen, though. All right, so here is um, Thailand. All right, now we're kind of zooming in here, as you can see. And what's happening is you're seeing all these little pins drop in. So we're kind of a smart layer on top of Flickr, sorted by interestingness, right? So it's geoposition and interestingness. So we automatically know the most interesting places to go take photos, all right? So I was staying down here, just south of Bangkok at my friend's place. He runs an amazing uh, studio down there, sort of a recording studio called Karma Sound Studios. And it was down in Bang Sarai, which is just south of uh, Pattaya. Pattaya, I guess that's how they say it there. So we'll kind of zoom down into this area, then I'll show you something very cool. All right. Now you can change the number of pins that appear on the screen right here. All right. And you can pretty much be assured if you see a cluster of pins someplace, that means there's something pretty interesting happening around there. All right. And it's sort of quite a bit different than Google Earth, which tends to show equal weighting to every possible photo location. So here where you see clusters of pins, you know that something cool is happening, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is show you how, see how we have these different thumbnails down here? Well, you can click on any of them anytime, and it will take it full screen and tell you a little bit more about that place, all right? Now you can go the slow way and just click Add to Trips, right? You can add it to your trip. I'll make a new trip here called um, Testing Thailand. And it will be added to your trip. And the cool thing, of course, is available offline for you. Because I know in the middle of a good adventure, you never have internet. Um, but actually, that's not what we're going to do here. I'm going to show you a really cool feature that was actually recommended and suggested by Robert Scoble. So we have this fancy dancy button down here called Download All. And this is available on all platforms. So I'm going to call this um, Thailand uh, Cray Cray. <laughs> all right, then I say OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to vacuum up every single little pin, all the full res photos, all that kind of stuff just locally here so it's available for me when I'm on my little adventure. All right, so this thing will slowly fill up and I'll have everything right here local for me. Okay, now fast forward it just like Julia Child with the cooked chicken. That says download complete. You can view these images in your trip list as Thailand Cray Cray. I like how it puts it there. It kind of makes the name seem more legitimate even though it's quite silly. So I'll say okay. Now, 
what I can do if I click on home is I have a list of all my different trips right here. All right. And if I click on my save trips, I can go into it and it has all the images right here for me. All right. So I can, I can pull them up in full screen and then just start rifling through them. Okay. I can even make it go super full screen like that. And I can just start hitting the right arrow to go through them, going through them here. And th these are all places that look cool that I want to visit, you know, so as I'm going through, I see this place. I'm like, what? You know, where in the world is that? So then I went to go find the exact location. Um, it does save a copy of the map here for you with multiple levels of zoom. So you can actually go find the dang place. Um, you can direct cap, uh, taxi drivers to it, that kind of stuff. You get directions if you happen to be connected to the internet. I mean, everything is happening. So I'll show you this other place that I found because of it too. Let me open up my iPhoto here. Uh, where is it? Oh, uh, this place. Yeah, look at this incredible place that I also never would have found if it wasn't for um, Stock on Earth. And this is very close to Bang Surrey. Anyway, there's a little sneak peek of some of the stuff that uh, Stock on Earth can do for you. Um, you know, there's a million other features and we're always adding stuff. Well, I hope you have a great time playing with Stock on Earth. And if you're wondering about the origins of this thing, um, I actually made it for myself <laughs> because you know I would plan these trips and it was very difficult to figure out where to go or what to see and you know there's amazing websites out there like TripAdvisor and and all these sorts of things but you still had to piece together many different situations to get your uh, to get your trip planned the right way like I used it when I recently went to Morocco uh, it was really fun to plan my trip there and I found all kinds of amazing places I never would have found um, anyway I hope you get a lot out of it and if you have suggestions keep them coming and anyway, thanks for being part of the community. All right, see ya.